Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money. Come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I welcome us, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the solemnity, solemnity of the nativity of John the Baptist. Um, our liturgy today will be a little bit longer than the normal weekday masses we have, because we shall be reciting the Gloria and also the profession of faith, the creed. So maybe I'll be taking only two hours of our time. Uh, uh, well, I will try to make it uh, brief so we can leave at least before two hours and then get back to our work or other things we have for the day. John is an important personality in our church, in the life of Jesus. That is why different aspects of his life are celebrated. As I welcome us to this Holy Mass, we pray for all of you, the people of the parish as well as for Julian Soto. Let us now take a moment in our hearts, acknowledge our sins. Let us ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all you angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus, bone voluntatis, laudla amus te, Benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracia sagimus tibi, propter magnam gloriam tuam. Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fili Unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, Qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Qui tolis peccata 
tamundi su shipe de precazione nostra qui sedes ad exteram patris miserere nobis quoniam tu solus sanctus tu solus dominus tu solus altissimus Jesu Christe cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord. Give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the days of King Josiah, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I sent you over to nations and over kingdoms to root up and to tear down to destroy and to demolish, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. O oh Lord, you have probed me. You know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my innermost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I have you thanks that I am fearful, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. 
My soul also knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king. Of him God testified. I have, for, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man descendants God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, son of the family of Abraham and those others among you who are God-fearing. To us, this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he, wished, what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all we are amazed. Immediately, his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who had these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? 
for surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus. He was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. And it was from the desert that John came forth, heralding his coming, the coming of Jesus, by preaching baptism of repentance. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate the solemnity of the nativity of John the Baptist. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, beginning from around verse 20 to 29, the Pharisees, when they heard John preach about conversion, repentance, salvation, return to God, they came to him and asked him, Who are you? John said, I am a voice. A voice preaching, proclaiming repentance. A voice in the desert. One could ask the question, what use is a voice if the words do not accompany it? What use is the voice? Thanks to God in our times, so much knowledge has been either improved or created by people to enable us to understand science, especially in relation to some of our brothers and sisters, disadvantaged a little bit because they can't talk. Perhaps they are dumb and they can't talk. Or they can't say what you can understand. For thanks to sign language, because people have continued to work and improve the different methods that could be used in communication. And sign language has become one of it. Without the word, a voice simply could mean nothing. But when words accompany it, you can understand better what individuals open their mouths to utter. John said, I'm a voice, a voice that is bringing to the world the word of God, Jesus Christ himself. Outside of, other than our Lord Jesus Christ, as our blessed mother Mary, it's only John, not even the apostles, that have so much of his days celebrated, anchored within the liturgical year, so that once in a while we hear about John being celebrated. It could be the nativity today. And today is like six months away from Christmas. Remember, he is six months older than Jesus. 24th to 25th December. Six months in between. Other times we could celebrate the beheading of John the Baptist. And records of him are scattered through the scripture. Throughout the Advent season, we will hear so much about John, 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 John. Because Jesus had said it, of all born of women, none is greater than him. John was and remains an important personality in our lives as Christians. He was the precursor of Jesus. He had to announce him to the world. And what made John so important was the role he played. The first reading from the prophet, from the prophet Isaiah. The first reading from the prophet Isaiah tells us that God has formed us in our womb, in the womb of our mothers, and let us come into being. And Psalm 139, where we had the responsorial verse, was filled with praises, praises to God who formed us in the womb, who knit us together 
who made us a wonder. John was made a wonder in the eye of the world, and he took his personality to the highest level. He lived up to the standard of expectations, and John was there carried out his duties in the life of Jesus Christ. And when it was completed, he told us, I must decrease, he must increase. I am a voice. That's what he said he is. Jesus appeared. People we are yet to understand whom he was. And John pointed to him, behold, the Lamb of God, there he is. He takes away the sins of the world. Someone is coming after me, and here he is. I am on feet, even to undo the strap of his sandals. The reason I came is to show you the Messiah. And here he is, the Lamb of God. He takes away the sins of the world. John did not just proclaim Christ. He also spoke to the powers of his time. He condemned the evils in his own society. He spoke truth to power. He told Herod, it was not right for you to marry the wife of your brother, Philip, while your brother was still alive. And you are doing it because you feel you have power to do it. That's not the right thing to do. Herodias was envious. John didn't want her to, to be the, the queen. And he, she looked for an opportunity to kill John. Remember, that was what led to the beheading of John the Baptist. Herod arrested John, put him in prison. And Herodias, after her daughter had danced before Herod, and Herod promised to do whatever he, she had asked for, she could ask for. The mother said, get me the head of John the Baptist in a platter here. And that was how John was beheaded. Brothers and sisters, God has made us for a purpose. In our lives, we should, if we don't already know what it is, we should seek for it. Know the reason why God has put you in that little space you call your family, in that place you call the workplace, in the interactions you have with people. God has a reason, a reason for putting you where you are. God has a reason for giving you the life you have and enjoy. So how do I turn it around? How do I accomplish the purpose of my being? Psalm 139, you can read it again when you go home today. I thank you, Lord, for the wonder. You are a wonder, a wonder of creation. God has put you in the life of your family, in the life of your community. God has put you as part of us here in the church for a purpose. John lived out the purpose of his being. When we live out the purpose of our being, we will also be celebrated. And so we ask for the intercession of the saints and the angels, and especially of John the Baptist, so that as we celebrate the nativity, that's the, the celebration, the solemnity of his birth, his intercessions and, that of, and those of the saints, we bring us to actualize the reasons for our being, and through it glorify God and attract blessings to ourselves and to our families. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things we are made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son he is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us in faith bring our petitions to God our Father. That the church may grow in perfection and love for God through the Holy Spirit's gift of piety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may be guided by God who alone is just and merciful in serving those who elected them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in doubt and despair may be relieved of their burdens through the gracious mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may strengthen each one of us in our faith as we seek to live out our vocation as disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may find peace with God at the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the people of the parish and the reposed soul of Julian Soto, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the quiet of our hearts, you may offer your own special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Father Ruben, uh, whose birthday is also today, as we pray for him, we ask God to bless him, to strengthen him in the work he, he does here in the Church of St. Francis of Assisi. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of our lives. And we thank you for the vocations we exercise. Bring us always to put in our best in all that we do and to bring glory and honor to you in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of kings. Then cleansed be every soul from sin, Make straight the way of God within. Prepare we in our hearts a home where such a mighty guest may come. For thou art our salvation, Lord, our refuge and our sure reward. Shine forth and let thy light restore our souls to heavenly grace once more. All praise, eternal Son, to thee, whose advent set thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit evermore. On joy 
Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of kings. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory. For you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone, of all the prophets, pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaot, Plenis Sun Celi Eterna, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excessis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Osana in excessis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, pray throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, and Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to attain our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And may we share the sign of peace. And you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, Qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus the bread of life who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter on my own, but on this day, a word of my soul shall be. The body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting.
Console my people, the ones dear to me. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem. The time of your mourning is ended now. The Lord of life will come. A voice cries out in the wilderness, Prepare a way for the Lord. A voice cries out in the wilderness, Make straight a highway for God. Every valley is made a plain, Every mountain is leveled. The glory of God shall then be revealed, and the nations will sing in praise. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord. A voice cries out in the wilderness, make straight a highway for God. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ, whose coming John foretold. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We had planned to spend two hours. We only used 45 minutes. So you, you could sit back and pray a little more before you go. If you don't have anything really pressing to leave the church for, at least you have one hour, 15 more minutes to stay and pray before you can go. But I'm happy to have you celebrate with us on this Thursday, the Nativity of John the Baptist, and have a good rest of your day. Let us go in the peace of Christ. This Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Let all the people on earth bless the Lord, young and old. Glorify his
his name. Let every voice sing with joy to the Lord, glory and praise. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth, over all the earth.